hope you're all doing safe and well. Today I'm in Worms Lair, folks. And I'm bringing back Phasmophobia. So you know what that means, don't you? Hit them comments down below. Smash that like button. Smash that subscribe button along with the daily notification alarm bell. And then after that, folks, it's time to roll the footage. EMS meter and thermometer and we have his uh, colleagues again in this investigation with him so massive hats off to you all for your support we've just hit over 1000 subscribers now that is epic Mwah. right so now what's going off is they're going through the doors and starting to slow but slowly search this place. Make sure they've got every temperature reading for every room they can as well. And it appears as though th this game makes me jump every time, guys, only because your colleagues could be just round the corner and you're walking, boom, you're like, oh, it's not a ghost. I will say, the uh, it's looking a bit dark around. Maybe turn a light on. And obviously, I know you can't, obviously, because you need to see the ghost. Oh, what's that on the floor? We found a bone. It looks like a bone. It's a bone. Right, anyway. Oh, nice radiator on the wall. Could do with a lick of paint. Oh. Temperature spiking. 43.5 to 43.7. 36. It's got a bit cold in that room there, Worm. So, just be careful of that. Guys, I do want you to check out the rest of the Phasmophobia on this channel as well. The links will be in the cards, guys. So, please do check that out. It's absolutely brilliant. Worm's Lair and Phasmophobia on it as well. So, this um, episode today is part one of two for Phasmophobia. So please do check out that. That's a lie. It's not part two. Sorry. It's parts one, two and three of Phasmophobia. Sorry. On the previous Phasmophobia when we previously visited it folks. Sorry fibromyalgia for you. I get some fibro fog. Anyway. Nice kitchen sink. It's a bit square. Don't like that. I'm used to round up sinks, but hey-ho. Now, this game, you have multiple jobs to do. And you have, like, a journal that can tell you um, what you're looking out for and what you can store things in to look back later on whilst you're hunting. Why have you thrown that meter down, Worm? No, pick it back up. You need it. Right, so we're going back out the house, apparently. And we're going back out the garden path. So... That being said, guys... Ah, here we go. This is what I was telling you about, the evidence. So you get to input your fingerprints, ghost orbs, writing, freezing temperatures, things like that. So if you notice the temperature plummeting really quickly, you can monitor the, what room it's in and then input it in that journal. So I call it a journal. Whatever it is. Now, this whiteboard, you have um, objectives, four of them to be precise. These are the optional ones, folks. Um, that on the left and TV screens, as you can see, it's got all your friends and crew's health. Um, these are the multiple items you can add to your inventory to help you ghost hunt, guys. I do like that clock behind. Guys, hit me up in the comments down below. Tell me what you guys think to this kind of footage we've got today. Um, also, give it a thumbs up, thumbs down. Smash that subscribe button. And, oh, wait, looks like she's taken uh, a camera. So has Worm. Worm, turn your camera on, sunshine. Oh, you've got it on a tripod. So now, obviously, Worm's going to put that somewhere in the house. It's like a CCTV, so you can pick up any orbs, 
apparitions, things like that, guys. I just want to say, one somebody who I inspire to um, is on YouTube with absolutely millions of followers, guys. I want you to go and check him out. It's Daz Black. He is one amazing legend, and well, just hats off to him. His channel is amazing. It's a uh, a stepping stone to what this channel is today so I had some quirky ideas given to me by him he doesn't know it but thanks Daz you're a bloody true legend um, go check out his Daz watches oh my gosh if you guys want a laugh more so from this channel then please do go and head over to Daz Black's channel and hit that subscribe button and uh, hi from the Immortal Elite Scorable Gaming Group so guys, back to the video footage in question. So, that woman, wh wh why is that woman stood there with her hands like that? <laughs> well, I'm not being funny guys. Obviously this is not me playing this. I will be downloading it and, it's well sorry, I've downloaded it and installed it. I will be running it and testing what I can and can't do in its features and stuff. Now, if anyone knows a bit more about Phasmophobia, please do hit me up in the comments down below. I want to know, you know, if it can be played singly, if it can be, you know, do your research, guys. Come back and tell us. See, we already know, but we just want you guys to be so interested in this game. If it's your cup of tea, then download it, get it shot, guys. Brilliant, from what I can see so far. Now, I don't know what that is in his hands, because there is no in-game footage. Wham, I can't hear you. So, that being said, now he's obviously going up the path and he's heading towards the door. Oh, you see, I love that colour purple. Ooh, I do love that indeed. Guys, there is some fantastic merchandise on offer on Patreon, so please do check the links down below. Excuse me one second. Do you know how Daz Black has low disk space? I don't have that, thank goodness. I just have my phone constantly vibrating or dinging away. So, whilst ever you guys have to put up with Daz Black's low disk space you're gonna to have to put up with my pixels notifications now guys he is in the garage now I, from what I've gathered it's better if you turn up keep the lights off 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 and just stick to your torch lights and whatever is a mitten light you know um, I would have probably temperature checked that to be fair well, there won't be a probably. I would have definitely temperature checked it, but, you know, <laughs> that's just me being a picky sod as always. So, guys, um, we are roughly halfway through this epic video, and it's already got me hooked. I'm not even looking at the camera. What the hell? Sorry, folks. But I love Phasmophobia. I think it's absolutely brilliant. Now, as you can see, there's quite a lot of orbs on the screen that you worms just walk through. Now is lighting candles to be a bit more... Enticing a bit more spiritual, excuse me, I've got hiccups, courtesy of this uh, absolutely amazing drink ever. Oh, if anyone wants to ship me some, just plain original P Epsi to the M Axe, folks. Amazing stuff. Oh, I would do an unboxing video actually if I got a shipment of Pepsi Max, it would be amazing. Now I've wet one's whistle, it's now time to see what Worm's mate's doing with that door. What, what? They seem to walk funny around here, I don't know why. Not uh, liking how they walk and stuff, it's a bit weird. It's almost like they are possessed themselves, folks, so... Well, you'll, you can turn into a ghost in this game, guys, so you may be seeing that, you may not be. You'll have to find out. Right, as what they're doing now is they're trying to entice a ghost, signal it by making it flash on and off and stuff. Um, and swearing at ghosts. Now, you see, I've had to take the game uh, audio out, guys, because they're swearing at it. And it's supposed to entice the ghost and bring it forward, anger it to do things. So, flashing on lights, like, off and on lights like that. I'd be like, what the hell? It's not Blackpool Bloody Illuminations. It's a bloody ghost investigation. Stop wasting me electric. Anywho. Is that, what's that on the floor? Looks like a mouse trap in the middle of that wall. Worm, what is that on the floor? Oh, it looks like a notepad or something. God knows. 
You see, when you're going off into the darkness and stuff, why do pe Oh, God, it's not. It's a bloody human. Christ. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bloody hell, fire. I shit my head up. Bloody hell. Well, guys, all I'm going to say is, it's a bit of a long video, this, but it's got amazing content. Plus a bonus coming up soon. Guys, have you noticed it's very grey, this house? Even with the lights on, it's not like pizzazz of colour or anything. It's like, maybe it'll be grey. No wonder it's bloody haunted. I bet Ghost is thinking, God, this colour's a load of shit. Nice. <laughs> Blood red. Why not? Wh why do they walk like that? I'd be... I'm sorry, but anything paranormal, I am out that door. Ta-da! Now, for those people that believe in the spiritual things and stuff like that, I do believe in it, but then the subject often turns on to... Uh, you know, it going deeper or turn into religion. I'm not religious. I don't do politics or religion, anything like that. I just, I don't do drama, so I just don't get involved with it. That's one of the uh, founding um, policies. Gov uh, sorry, uh, founding community guidelines we have for TIEG, set up by a group of us founders to make sure that the debates are healthy, but not drama causing so no politics no homophobia no racism n nothing like that and no religion as well because it's just easy ah anyway as i was saying i'd be kicking up some stink if i was a ghost in this house i'd be like nah -uh -uh, don't go gray it's like everything's gray and morbid the only bit of color she's walking like a bloody ghost past worm it's like what the freaking hell but that color purple does look nice it does add like a nice feature to the ceiling shame it's not all over the walls but you know oh what the hell was that <gasps> holy crap what a crack <laughs> that scared me oh now my chair's making some ungodly ghostly noises my gosh it's paranormal th oh what the heck oh god why are you doing this? I don't know what's worse. Watching Worm play Phasmophobia or seeing spiders on my screen. Oh, God, I hate spiders. And uh, uh, talking of spiders, a massive shout out to Wally, who has amazing footage and videos, but they contain spiders. <laughs> Get a bottle of bleach or a bloody lighter. <sighs> no, I don't do anything against like, animal violence, but anything with more than four legs crawls into my house it better get its bags packed and bugger back straight off out there uh, uh, uh. no right okay now what we can see here worm is actually just well standing there looking beautiful as ever mm -mm -mm. no on a serious note though is standing there to obviously watch his mate and see what happens and to keep an eye on that because they've already seen apparitions in this hallway mind you i won't be loitering in here I'd be running for the hills, but I'm disabled with fibromyalgia and heads, so I can't. It's a bit pants, really. Guys, um, recently we have noticed uh, on YouTube that there is has been quite a lot of videos for uh, views, sorry, for the Enterprise J. Oh my God, that looks like a living freaking nightmare. Holy crap on a cracker, folks! Oh God, it's gone. Run for the hills, run for the hills. As I was saying, guys, there's some Enterprise J footage, which is the largest ship for Star Trek. So please do check that out. It's on the cards above, so I'll stick it in the playlist there. A massive shout out to MJD, Adrian's Digital Basement, 8-Bit Guy. Amazing channels as well on there, guys. Do check them out. And also, a massive shout out to a, another Patreon as well as Wally. It's Pranakasha Productions, Matt. Your productions are amazing. Guys, there's a link to Pranakasha Productions, Matt channel, Matt's channel. Oh my god, her head's stuck in the bloody thing. Worm, what are you doing near here? No. Anyway, 
Go, do check out Planet Cash Productions Star Trek footage on there. It's absolutely amazing. Now, Harry's walking up there is too sinister. Why are you guys in a bloody lock-up thing? Why? Why? Get out the locker. Get out. And contact your mate who's either sticking out. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. Oh, flashing lights, folks. Flashing lights. Enticing, enticing. Oh, there goes my phone again. I did tell you guys that my phone... Oh, speak of the devil. Where am I? I've just got your message. <laughs> A massive shout out to the rest of the founders. That's Syke, Emily, Skajas, Worm, Preblo, Cami, and just... Anyone else have missed a massive sh quiz as well? A massive shout out to you all, folks. Um, guys, if some of you will not know who Chris is because he's been off a while, he has been working and slugging his guts out during the pandemic. So please, guys, do give him a massive shout out if you see him in game or on our Discord server. Um, do comment on one of his videos that are in the Star Trek playlist and he will get them. He's just been so working hard during the COVID pandemic. Uh, to help with the COVID pandemic has been essential worker. So a massive, massive shout out. This video is dedicated to you, Chris. So thank you so much for doing that, all that work. And just thank you for helping to ease this awful, awful situation around the world. So thank you, Chris, for that. Massive hats off to you. Um, can't wait to see you back, bro. We've all been missing you on this channel. Right, what Worm is now doing is, looks like he's been swapping the stuff around. Just just throw it down, Worm. Just, oh, bottle of pills, guys, bottle of pills. You know how to tempt to go, don't you? Get some pills on the go. Don't do it in real life, guys. Just, oh my god. Is that all of them there, or is that one of his teammates? It's like, really, what, Team Sanity. Oh, bloody hell fire. Don't forget, guys, to hit that subscribe button. Thumbs up, thumbs down, let me know. My gosh, she's still walking back. She's possessed, even into the truck. It's like, what the heck? So, the Team Sanity average is currently 54%. Now, that's going to fluctuate, because on the next TV screen on the lower, left, lower right side, as you can see, there's a red graph moving up and down. So please do take a note of that if Worm does move from it. Now, you've seen the odd ghost in this. There is more to come, guys. So we'll just have to wait just a little bit longer for the next bit. Right, guys. I shall see you in the next few days. Just like I said, a massive shout out to Worm for this footage dedicated to Chris. Thank you, Chris, for all your hard work. Thank you, uh, the rest of TIEG. Ashley Wagner is back on Twitter. A massive shout out. Thank you so much, darling. Um, and the people I've been doing duets with on TikTok, do check out our new TikTok channel. And thank you so much. Your guys' videos have been amazing and epic to duet. Thank you. Much love to all. Peace out.